prior, right, with, with your work at Featherweight, it seems like if you were to ask me, I feel like um, because you put on exciting performances every time and you've taken these fights against guys who've missed weight, you don't complain, um, kind of like resembling a true fighter, right? Um, probably that's why they're rewarding you because you see, right, even like if we're talking about this last weekend with Mario and stuff like that, um, yeah. and even uh, Pennington and Pena, you know, there are fights that are taking place right now that are as exciting. And I think that's kind of um, taking precedent a little bit. Like, we got to start getting these exciting fights together. We can't be letting um, these kind of boring fights be getting away with that, you know? Yeah, man. Like, the, like I, I don't know what the what the rules should be with that. But, like, if you're just taking someone down and holding them, like, it's so boring as a fan, like, watching. Even when I watch the fights, I'm like, they they got to be more active. Like, you have to be – if you're on top of someone, you should be looking to – ground a pound or looking for submissions the whole time. So whenever someone's taking someone down and just wrestling them and not doing anything, it's really not, it's not a good look, but um, for decision wise, it shouldn't be um, counted for points. You know, if they're just holding you down they're not doing anything, it's just kind of like, you know, no one's doing anything. So it should be stalemate kind of, you know, they should stand them back up. But, uh, you know, I don't know what the rules should be. Honestly, there's a lot of changes that could be made, but um, that's definitely something they need to look into quickly because that, the style of wrestling, you know, people see how much controls there and they see how much, like, um, how much they can, you know, not get hit if they take someone down. So like they take people down, but then they have no jits game. They have no like top gun and pound. So, um, hopefully they can make a change, but I don't know. Um, yeah, who knows, man? I don't know what the, what the answers are. Yeah. But to your point, I feel like, cause that's a good point. I actually heard, um, I don't know if you were watching the Bisping podcast cause Anthony Smith has a similar point to you. He feels like it should just be counted as zero. Like, let's say there's a takedown that happens, but you don't do anything with it. Like, the same way that the guy's not getting rewarded on the bottom for not trying to get up, if the guy on, on top isn't doing anything to um, progress, it should just be a zero. So, but for me, I feel like I've been saying, just bring back that yellow card, you know, like pride days. Because in wrestling too, there'll be, and, and jiu-jitsu tournaments, they're like, like a minute goes by and not much is going down. They're like, hey, break. You guys need to get the action going. You know what I mean? And then the aggressor, obviously won't get a point deducted but this the guy who's not aggressing will get, eventually get a point deducted yeah no i think that i mean there's definitely it just then then you gotta have educated referees you gotta have educated judges and things like that so um i think uh just like they're implementing new rules for sure and i think that they, that that comes in like the whole grounded opponent with like throwing knees to the head and stuff that comes in in january which is great, but like there's other rules that can be changed like that, you know, but it, it's just going to take time. This is a you know fairly new sport. So um, we're just getting into that like second slash third wind of fighters and new, you know, new styles. And so um, I think that they'll make the changes eventually. Yeah. And just to give credit to one of the fighters on the card, we talked about before we started, but Buckley, right? He actually had a great way of like grappling because he had to grapple Wonder Boy, right? Okay. He had to do yeah. that. But he made it exciting at the same time. He was using a lot of pressure, takedowns, letting them up. And then he actually fatigued him and got the knockout, which is crazy. Yeah, no, it was an impressive performance by him because I, I wasn't sure he was going to get that finish. 